Welcome to another tutorial in C++ programming. Um, this isn't much of a tutorial, it's more of a reference, this particular one. Um, what I have here is a main function that all it does is print, print test to the output, which is the screen. And then you see I'm calling this function called print or press enter to continue. This function is defined down here on line 17 and it just prints out press enter to continue and then it's going to uh, look for an input but it's going to ignore the input don't worry about the parameters and what all this means yet it's beyond the scope of what you've learned so far and we're not quite ready for anything like that but what I wanted to show you was um, where I got this from and why I'm using it a lot of people talk about using system pause which I definitely don't recommend now I don't recommend it mostly because the experts don't recommend it it's resource heavy it's uh, not very safe code it's Windows specific and so on there's plenty of uh, other reasons um, let's not forget that for every function that we have because we talked about it before you have to have a function header where you declare the function so it's a void so it returns no value and it takes in no parameters okay where I got this from is important for you to know, put it in your reference box, your toolbox. Um, this website here called c++.com, it, it has a lot of good, good information and it's a very active forum. A lot of questions get answered by experts and the answers are usually very thorough. And as you can see, I got that piece of code from where it says the most correct way to do it is something like this. And so here is that code that I used. Um, there's lots of other ways to pause a console window before it closes. Um, there's Windows specific ways and Linux specific ways as well. Um, so with that being said, if you want to use the most correct way according to this site, you would use the press enter to continue way. And anytime you wanted to pause a console window, you can pretty much put this press enter to continue at the very bottom of your main function before it closes. Let me run it and prove that it works. I hit F12 to build using this particular IDE, then F5 to run, print test, and now it says press enter to continue. I'm going to press the wrong key. I'm going to press the letter G. Nothing happened. I'm going to press space. Nothing happened. I'm going to press enter, and it closes just like it should. I hope this clears up some things about the system pause. Um, you can definitely look up on this website why system calls are evil and it'll give you a list of reasons so I, I advise you to check that out sometime if you don't believe me on the uh, the whole resource intense thing alright see you at the next episode